Hey guys, this is Mauricio Prinzlau for cloudbackuping.com and this video is part of my definitive guide to backing up your data. In this video, we'll have a look at Arc and how to back up your files to Amazon S3. Arc is a useful piece of software for the Mac and if you're looking for more control over your data, then Arc might be the right tool for you. It offers local encryption of your files before loading them up to Amazon, advanced backup scheduling, iOS access to your backed up files, among a lot of other things. So stay tuned for a more detailed review coming up next. Okay, and here we are on Arc's website where you can right away start downloading the software. You can see that at the right hand corner you have the opportunity to download the software and test it for free for 30 days or if you want to buy the software, you can do that right now for only $29. So um, in our case, we'll just download the free trial because I'm sitting here on a new operating system to show you also the installation routine. And Arc copies itself onto your Mac and with a double click you can open the software and move it to your installation to your application folder where it installed itself to the operating system and then the next thing you are already going to start with the Arc setup wizard and this is actually pretty straightforward. Nevertheless, we are going to cover here some of the details that are necessary to perform your first backup and that will be creating an Amazon S3 account or rather copying the credentials, the access keys right from the Amazon account into Arc software so that Arc gets access to your Amazon um, account. So I assume that you already have an Amazon account. We're not going to go through the account creation here, but it is quite simple. So you can really just um, hook up your Amazon, your existing Amazon account with Amazon S3 and then start your backup right away. So I'm just going to log in here quickly with my credentials because I already have an Amazon account and in the next step or well basically here you are in the dashboard and scrolling down you will find your access credentials and it is very important that you keep your access credentials for yourself that you're not going to share those with any other person because they could use your account and compromise your account and using your bandwidth and your storage space or even worse misuse your data and this is what you want to avoid so you copy with command c your access key and then you need your secret key which i'm covering here for obvious reasons and paste it again with command v or yeah with the command v because we're on a mac here and then we just click on continue and arc is verifying our our account the next thing that you got to do is to choose whether you want to create a new bucket or whether you want to get data from an existing backup so we want to choose to create a new bucket because we want to back up data and we choose the region that is nearest to us which is in my case ireland because i'm based in berlin germany and uh then the most important step is now ahead of us. We have to create our encryption password and the encryption password secures and encrypts our data and makes it eligible for other people that do not have our password. But keep in mind that you really have to keep this password secure and you have to remember that password because if you forget it, you will not be able to gain access to your file. So the next step is the storage budget. So here you can either select a storage uh, budget, let's say $25 per month, or you can uh, just experiment with it and say, hey, how much would it cost for 5,000 gigabyte? And you see, hey, we would have to pay seven, $600 per month for um, 5,000 gigabyte or five terabyte. But actually, let's, let's uh, set the budget to around 50 gigabyte, which costs us $625 per month only for the storage there is some extra going to be charged for sending and receiving files but uh, this is neglectable here right now so the next step is actually crucial because now you select the files that you actually want to back up. You have the option to do a full backup, selecting your, your user um, folder where it just is basically all your data stored. But obviously I have more than a terabyte in my user folder, so I do not want to back up all that files with Amazon S3. Rather, I want to select a folder that is more adequate um, for testing purposes, which is a folder I have prepared in advance 
advanced. And it is a one gigabyte folder with files such as movie files, audio files, picture files. And I just selected that folder and uh, now we can just, or we have to type in our admin password that the ARC agent, which is going to work in the background, is active to perform our backups because we can schedule our backups, for example, hourly, and the agent is going to take care of the rest, doing backups automatically in the hour. So, um, one of the advantages is actually that you get a the detailed overview of what files you can back up and can see at the bottom of the Arc software the backup status. So how far is your backup actually advanced already? How how many files have been transferred to your Amazon account? But obviously I'm not going to wait until that is finished. I'm just going to pause the video here and resume quite in a bit. So now that our files are up on Amazon service, let's have a look at the preferences and the possibilities that you have of fiddling around with your backups, if you will, with Arc's clients. So as we've already seen in the introduction wizard, we can set our budget. So if you say, hey, well, uh, I don't have that much money to back up all my files, I'm just going to lower the backup budget and you can adjust it um, accordingly. You can uh, select the use reduced redundancy um, which is going to lower the costs even more but it's not going to have that much redundant backups of your file so this is a little less secure if you will if your internet connection is weak you can actually choose to um, throttle the upload speed to save a little bit of bandwidth and obviously you can schedule your backups i will set it to hourly because this is the least uh possible amount of time that i can set i would love to have a continuous backup feature meaning that whenever i change a file it is going to be backed up automatically but this is actually what arc lacks and what i can't do with that software so now let's see what is actually happening in the back end and for that we are logging in to our amazon web services account and go into the s3 tab and we can see what arc actually did with our amazon account so theoretically you can do all that without arc but it would be obviously too tedious. You can like uh, drag and drop your files and upload them manually. But here we can see it created a bucket and it is beautifully encrypted. So you cannot see what kind of files are actually uploaded. Let's just enter the folder that uh, I can prove to you that there is no clear files that you can see. So let's dig deeper. And the only thing that you can see is the file size. So how big, how large are the files that you have uploaded? But there is no way to clearly see the files if you do not have the encryption password that, you can, that you've uh, stored with ARC previously. One of the great features that Arc gives you is the ability to access your files from your iPhone. And the only thing you have to do is downloading the Arc View from the I, from the App Store, which costs three euros and ninety nine cents. I think they should have made it for free, but uh, well, I'm not the developer here, so you can import the credentials from Arc uh, from the Arc software, hitting the button right here. And now you go back into the Arc software, click on Arc, and send iOS credentials to your mobile device like so then you hit the next button and if you're in the same network you will see your iMac or your uh, MacBook Pro and just enter the seven digit code that the Arc software gave you on your uh, main computer and after typing in the number you will be able to access your files after well this is important after typing in your decryption password so there we go. There is my folder, my test files folder. And now I want to access the folder and I have to type in my encryption password. So let's just type in the uh, encryption password, which I'm obviously going to cover here that nobody can actually steal my data if somebody gets access to my Amazon S3 account. And it loads the various backup versions. As you can remember, it stores uh, various versions of your file so that you can go back in time and select versions that you have um, saved erroneously, for example. 
So let's select a, a document that I've created um, a couple of days ago, and you can preview that document and see actually what contents it has. Whoops, I'm sorry, I just moved the iPhone here. Um, so you can see what credential, what, what is actually in there in the document. So let's say we want to have a look at um, the movie file here that I created. So you tap on it and you download the file that can take a while, um, depending on obviously the size of the video. But after downloading the, the file, you can preview the MP4 file on your iPhone. Obviously, it only works with some file types, not with all file types. So if we, for example, headed back and selected a PSD file that I've stored there, um, you will only see a gray uh, layer there that is not actually previewing the file, unfortunately. But um, it is very convenient to have your files uh, with you all the time without worrying to forget a file, for example. So this is actually what you really will uh, be making use of, I'm sure. So if you like this video and if I could show you how our arc works, um, please leave a comment or recommend this video to your friends and family on your social networks. It would help me a lot. This is Mauricio Prinslow for cloudbackuping.com signing off.